Hello, welcome again. I'm here again today to briefly discuss yet another set of terms in post-colonial studies, marginalization and marginality. We often invoke the term, you know, discourse of the margins, the voice of the margins. And what we presuppose when we invoke the term marginalization and marginality is this idea somehow that there is a center and then somehow some people are either reduced to its margins or exist at its margins. And in our minds, we somehow consider this state of being in the world as if it's natural and uncontested. The question in post-colonial theories then is to always remember that when we posit the post-colonial subjects as being on the margin, obviously they are on a margin to something. And what that means is that in our minds, we have already internalized this idea that the metropolitan center, the centers of European power are accepted normatively as the center to which we exist in a kind of marginality. And I think we need to complicate those kind of assumptions by understanding that being marginalized and being in a state of marginality is not natural, but is produced through politics, through power, through discourse, right? And if we understand it in those terms, then we will not make the mistake of taking these categorical terms as if they exist in real world without a reference or without a discursive framework. And an uncritical adoption of this, these terms in opposition to the center also then concretizes the center. Because if we just accept that we are in a marginal position, the question that then arises out of that is, you know, what are we in a marginal position to? And in order for us to have a stabilized marginal or marginalized position, we then have to believe in, in a certain stable, real material structure of the center itself. So we all must keep in mind as post-colonial studies scholars and students that, that the invocation of the term marginalized or marginality is crucial to what we argue because most of the times we are arguing for the rights and privileges of the very people who have been forced into a marginal position. But in the process of doing that, we should also question the very existence of a central space or a discourse and an idea against which we are positing a certain degree of marginality. So in a real revolutionary praxis, as Freire would say, it, or a revolutionary mode of teaching, we will put the very question of the margin and the center under challenge, under erasure. But generally speaking, in post-colonial theory, every time someone invokes the term marginalization, what they are talking about is how political discourses, discourses of knowledge under colonialism create a world in which certain people and places are placed at a margin at the farther end from the so-called center. And in doing so, then they, they can be attributed certain non-human traits. They can be called less civilized. And the fight then for the marginalized or people who are experiencing marginality is, is to undo that positioning of their lives and their experiences. Uh, it can also be to maybe take over the center and replace it or change it. But all of these things would involve an understanding that the concept of the margin and the center right, is produced through discursive frameworks, is produced ideologically. And that when we are create, critiquing the center from a marginalized position, the more important questions should be the questioning the very naturalness of these concepts and by exploring and unpacking how these positions physically, conceptually, and ideologically are created and sustained. So that is roughly 
what I understand of marginalization and marginality and its implications for post-colonial theory. I do have a video on the center and periphery on binarism. You should probably, if you have a mind to look into my entire series on post-colonial concepts and in conjunction with either, each other then the concept of marginalization and marginality would become obviously clearer and more precise. But to sum up, anytime a group of people, a body of knowledge, a set of beliefs is considered on the margins beyond what is normally considered proper, fully realized human, a fully stable concept, that position of marginality and marginalization is created through a discourse of power. And the revolutionary potential is to read that creation of this binary and then challenging any assumption to the naturalness of the center or whatever we are in a state of marginality from. Thank you so much for joining me and I will keep producing these brief videos and if they are useful to you, please share them and do subscribe to the channel and I will certainly see you next time.